Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be talking to you about five ways that I automate my online businesses to make them as low maintenance as possible. If you haven't guessed by now and if you're on my blog then you'll know that automation is the part of my business that I absolutely love the most. I love working out new systems and different ways to take as much of the weight off of me when it comes to building my businesses and keeping them going as possible. I currently have three businesses online and they bring me in my full-time income. I also have a part-time job as well but I keep that job because I really love the people that I work with and I love to just watch that business grow as well so I've got a bit of an obsession with businesses. Um, but one thing that I find absolutely key to keeping my low maintenance businesses as low maintenance as possible are the automation systems and tools and resources that I use to take the day-to-day -day tasks away from me so that I can do what I want to do on my businesses when I want to do them. So I thought I'd jump in and tell you five of the different tools and resources that I use so that if you already have a business online and you want to apply some of these to them then that's great or if you haven't got a business up and running yet online and you want to find different ways to make it as low maintenance as possible then these are definitely some programs and like I said tools that you should really check out so without any more chatting let's get started one convert kit I've only started building my email list over the last two or three months that's simply because beforehand I was working on marketplace platforms and it is really hard to build a mailing list on marketplace platforms because obviously you're using somebody else's platform like Etsy, Amazon and their customers to gain your um, sales and your orders so it's a bit tricky to try and then put them onto your email list and it goes against a lot of these marketplaces rules and regulations so you have to be really careful so when I started building an email list I knew how important it was because I knew it was the thing that I was missing out on when I was building a marketplace platform and when I decided to build my blog I knew the first thing that I had to do was start building my mailing list if you are going to be building any independent blog any type of website e-commerce or whatever then you really do need to be focusing on your mailing list so I chose ConvertKit. I emigrated from MailChimp straight away to a ConvertKit because I just love how easy the platform is to use. I had no experience building a mailing list, no experience learning and sending emails out and building email sequences and ConvertKit just made it so easy for me. And within my first month, I had 100 new subscribers um, from having zero experience whatsoever, I was quite proud of myself for that. So the reason why I really love ConvertKit is because it has tons of automation tools in its program that you can use to make sending emails so much easier. I love the fact that I can use ConvertKit to create email sequences well and truly in advance and I can set them up to run when they're triggered by um, someone choosing to download this product or choosing to sign up through this email lead magnet and then ConvertKit knows how to send out automatic sequences that I've created well in advance just on the fly so I don't have I don't have to think about it I don't have to worry about it I know that as soon as an, a subscriber of mine signs up they're going to get tons of helpful content over the next coming days weeks months already set up in advance everything that they need will be coming to them and I haven't got to sit there day by day making sure that Bill and Tina and whoever it is are getting all of their emails. So that's why I absolutely love ConvertKit. If you are trying to make building your email list as easy as possible, I really do recommend them. I know that they are used by a lot of different bloggers and a lot of different um, online sellers. So definitely I'll leave a link below and you can check them out. Two, Tailwind. Now, I absolutely love Tailwind as an automation system. I can't explain how important it's been in building my businesses and making it so much easier for me to drive traffic to all of my online shops and platforms. So Tailwind is a program that you can use in conjunction with Pinterest to help you schedule your pins months in advance. And they are just such a helpful and useful platform. And thanks to them, my Pinterest account 
has skyrocketed compared to what it was and I now get hundreds and hundreds of views to my products and my shops and my platforms per month just from this one search engine which is Pinterest alone and that is purely down to Tailwind I don't use anything else I know that other people use things like Board Booster and I personally have tried to use it but I just haven't felt as comfortable as I have with Tailwind I've set Tailwind up and I can honestly go on for an hour and schedule a month of Pinterest pins that I know will drive traffic to all of my shops and my stores. Another thing about Tailwind is that they also have some really cool kind of automation elements to them. One of them is uh, Tailwind Tribes, which is that you can upload some of your pins of your products and, and your courses and blog posts and whatever it is onto these things called Tailwind Tribes and then other people who have Tailwind can post that on their own Pinterest account. So you don't have to really do, it takes literally minutes to sit down and do it. And you become part of a group of people who are pushing and helping to promote um, your stuff and their stuff all together on Pinterest and it's so good it's so fun and honestly I've seen such great results from it so I personally absolutely love Tailwind like I said there are tons of other ones out there but if you're interested in a really easy automation system for Pinterest to help you literally drive hundreds of people to your shops loads of customers to your shops then Tailwind is definitely one to give a try three co-schedule I have heard lots of different people talking about um, different social media automation programs that they use and I've tried lots of different ones and I love and do still use lots of different ones and I'll be going into that into a, in a whole different um, video about the social media automation systems that I use but one that I have to mention because it's so big and comprehensive and easy to use and simple to use that I love it so much and that's CoSchedule. I've been using CoSchedule for about a year now and I use it not only on my own businesses but also on the business that I actually have as a part-time job as well because I really love how easy it is to handle. So you can schedule all your social media months in advance and the best thing about it is that you haven't got to worry about using a different social media automation system for Instagram and Facebook and LinkedIn because you can just do it all on one platform and it can seamlessly go out so I really love this for when I'm doing something like a product release or a blog post released because I know then that I can the minute that that blog post or that product's released, I can have all of my social media ready to go for weeks on end to help boost and push up that sale. And definitely it's been an amazing one for me. So again, I'll link that in the bottom, but definitely check out CoSchedule if you want just a really easy, comprehensive uh, social media automation system to just help you schedule months in advance with great synchronization so that you can just do all of your social media in one go for dropship companies so i personally use the dropship company printful but if you are thinking about selling physical products wherever that is whether it be on your blog or on a marketplace platform like amazon or etsy then i definitely recommend using a dropship company. They will literally automate the entire manufacture, packaging and shipping process for you of all of your um, dropship products. And I absolutely love it. I have had a business where I was printing and shipping tons of my products and it drove me near insane. It was not low maintenance at all. It was incredibly hard work and I actually found myself resenting every time I had a sale thinking that I was going to have to sit there and create this product and that people weren't going to get the best from it because it was me and I wanted someone professional who knew what they were doing, who I could factor that cost into my overall uh, price of the product but that I knew that per that my customer was going to be getting the best so when I discovered Printful it was just literally a game changer it is the very reason why I was able to start my blog up properly um, instead of just trying to fit it into everything else because it handed me back hours and hours of my day and without Printful and without a dropship company I could not have done that so if you are thinking, like I said, about doing any type of physical products, 
um, and selling them online, then definitely think about a dropship company. They will literally change the game of your business and make your business incredibly low maintenance compared to what, it, what, what it's going to be if you decide to make and package and ship all of those products yourself. And five, using a virtual assistant. So I have used virtual assistants from almost all the way through having my online business. And I know that a lot of people are intimidated by the idea of, of a virtual assistant because they think it's going to be super expensive and it's only something that big companies or established entrepreneurs do. But really, you can use the help of virtual assistants all the way through your business and it's super easy to control your pricing because you're obviously pricing per job for the most time and you can have a real conversation because it is a human being and say look how much is this going to cost and that going to cost and I can't tell you how much help it's been but also how much of a profit it's been to have somebody take the tasks that are just going to take me ridiculous amounts of time so that I can focus on the, the things that really make money in my business and that really help my business grow. So in the past I've used, well I've actually used um, virtual assistants for almost every aspect of my business because I was so interested in obviously the automation of it and the fact that I wasn't doing the work that I have given them a try in all different elements of my business. I've had them create products for me. So for example, eBooks, I actually used Upworks for that. Um, and so a couple of books I've created are ones myself and then a couple of other books are ones that um, I actually hired somebody else to create that book for me. And then I just went over and edited it and made sure that it was exactly what I wanted. And it worked really well. Um, I do personally like to create my books myself, but I think that's just a personal preference because they're actually fiction books. So I actually enjoy the process of creating my books. But if you're somebody who is interested in you, you know what you want to say in a book, especially a factual one, and you want to create something that's comprehensive and well written, then but you don't know how to write yourself or you don't feel comfortable writing yourself, then virtual assistant and hiring somebody like a freelance writer to do that work for you. It's also great for you because it allows you to get on with the parts of your business that you are good at and that you know what you're doing. And as long as you're not putting out rubbish to anybody, which I would never recommend because it's completely detrimental to your own business, and you're working together as a team to create something that's you know useful and helpful or beautiful, then I definitely recommend virtual assistants for creating ebooks. But I've also used virtual assistants to help me edit things so that I don't have to go back over and waste hours of my time editing a piece that I know I'm not going to see all the mistakes in it because I wrote it myself. I've also had ones that can help with my social media, just absolutely tons of different options. And there are lots of different places that you can find really useful, really, really good freelancers who are happy to help you in your business, building your little online empire. And when you build a good relationship with them as well, they literally are a valuable automation system in your business so you can get them to help you with your social media or help you uh, edit your blog posts or whatever it is just to give you back more of that time and that is honestly what a low maintenance business is more all about more time for you so if you found any of the information here about how to automate your business useful then don't forget to like if you know anybody who needs a little help and guidance with automating their own little online business or who would find this useful then certainly don't forget to share and if you like the videos that I'm creating then please don't forget to subscribe because I absolutely love to know that you guys are following along and that you're interested in the same things that I am. So I hope you found this helpful and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. So I'll see you soon. Bye guys.